What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Thank you for clicking on this video when there is a plethora of things you can look at but you're choosing to look at this little brown girl's face. Today I'm going to be using what I got in my glossy box box this month. The lid is actually here with all my other stuff I'm going to use for my makeup on it. So I can't actually show you that it is a glossy box but it is. Inside, like inside this actually, what I got. You get like this cute little like um booklet with everything in it so it tells you like what it is how much it costs and everything um so i got a soft a satin soft blurring primer from figs and rogue uh i got a nail polish which obviously i'm not going to use a nail polish in this video uh a mascara a beauty sponge which i've already gotten wet and damp um and then it was like a lucky dip for like some nyx stuff so i actually got a um a nyx eyeshadow palette in it if you also hear weird noises of people screaming it's because i live like the lady below me is a crazy lady and she just screams and screams and screams i will scream at her cat and dog at two o'clock in the morning so without further ado let's get into this video so i'm gonna start with the primer um it doesn't like on the back of it, it just says it's a micro blurring silicone free formula which blurs imperfections and banishes shine. Um, I am quite shiny and I got some big pores. Like, like, yeah, I got big pores. I'm like, you know, I like my makeup pretty smooth, but I'm not like, you know, the biggest warrior of it. Um, it says liquid blotting finishing complex, absorbs excess oil for sheer matte correction. I, my brain can't tell you that in a proper sentence right now. Uh, smooth skins and fixes foundation to keep complexion freshly flawless for minimizing and anti-blemishing action reduces skin impurities and breakouts with daily wear so my guess is this has some sort of like skincare as well in it we shall see i mean it is very liquidy i will say that because i did open it just to like feel it on my skin like on my hand and it did feel really nice to be fair it felt like skincare and i like when found it when primers and things do that this feels really nice i like, guess very watery well i don't want to say watery but it's very viscous is the easiest way i could say that as easy as i could you know explain it it feels really hydrating on your skin to be fair which quite frankly i prefer my fun my primers to be i prefer a hydrating primer purely because most times i'm using a, like a slightly like matte or satin or demi matte finish foundation so i like you know hydrating primers this did sink into my skin really quickly though and that's tacky which we like so i let that sit into this thing for a minute i'm just gonna chit chat while i do like most of my makeup today because i feel like today's a chit chat kind of day and i also had like an idea like in my head i had it that i was just gonna do a random chit chat while i did my makeup today so that's what we're doing so good old boris if you live in the uk he's opening up these streets soon very very soon admittedly it is in time for my birthday which is june 29th and most places should god willing be open again and you know back to some sort of normality like june 21st or something like that it is so i'm like even though my birthday falls on a tuesday you know i still could you know have the chance to actually do something slightly decent for my birthday and probably and you know get a chance to actually wear one of the dresses one of the millions of dresses i actually already have and i haven't worn that i bought last year for no reason really when i tell you i cannot wait for lockdown to be over I well and truly mean that and not to like you know go back to clubs or anything like that at all not like that I just I miss my friends I'm a person who functions very highly off of social interaction seeing people and you know bouncing and bobbing like that like that's how I function best and in the last year I haven't been able to do that so slowly but surely I've been going a little bit insane not gonna lie I have gone a little bit insane but lockdown so i cannot wait i've said to all of my friends i'm you're just gonna get a massive bear hug from me when, when the next time you see me and it's like i don't even want to go like out clubbing you know late late at night and you know get really drunk and it's just in the sweat no like i would very happily just go sit in a pub with my friend and just chit chat for you know for a few hours you know until they kick us out like quite ha honestly I would happily that's all I want to do in all honesty that's it I just want to go sit with my friends and do that and like you know go for bottomless brunch because me and the girls need bottomless brunch 
We, we, we need our bottomless brunch back because we kind of need an excuse to dress up because we've all just bought clothes that we don't need. And now we kind of, you know, we gotta wear it, really. Otherwise, it's just gonna go to waste. And I need to justify spending, like, you know, insane amounts of money on misguided that I didn't need to when I had absolutely nowhere to go. I hate having textured skin so much because my makeup, it like, it gets like, it like bubbles up and gets like really patchy, like literally it's getting really patchy right now and I'm trying really hard to fix it. I think I'm just gonna, this is a sponge by the way, I'm just gonna run over with, with that and see if that helps it. Okay, yeah, that helps it. <laughs> the other thing I'm doing as soon as I can, you know, when it's safe and I don't have a fear of getting long COVID and not, and you know, not being able to do anything because my fear isn't actually dying from COVID, my fear is long COVID. The next thing I'm doing is I'm traveling everywhere. I mean, my friends, I will obviously ask them if they wanna come, they're more than welcome to join me. If not, I'm running around the world by myself. Literally, I will, every single long weekend I can possibly get off work, I am taking and I'm going somewhere. I'm just gonna travel and run around and see everything and do everything is what I'm gonna do. I took for granted how much, like we used to travel and how much things we could actually do. So I'm gonna, not do that and i'm just gonna go everywhere and just live my life i'm gonna use a sponge to actually put my foundation on just because not that i think it'll be any different it's just you know sponge and i just want to see how it works because some sponges are actually quite hard and this one is actually really really soft i mean the same thing that i normally do where i like leave my eyes alone until like the very very last this sponge is really soft i mean you know it's just like you know my benefit one which is actually really dry and dirty but yeah it's just like any other sponge really I mean, it's a good sponge. It's really soft. Like, it's really, really, really blush and soft. Like, it's really pillowy. I'm just going to set my under eye really quickly with the um, Fenty um, Pro Filter Powder in Banana. Oh, my God. Personally, with this whole, well, you know, with COVID, I don't think, I think we'll get back to, like, some sense of normality. But things like masks and social distancing, I don't think they'll go away for a while. I, like, especially masks. I really don't think they will go away for a while. But, you know, like, I'm okay to do that, you know, if I can at least go, you know, see my friends, see my family, you know, go back into the world and do things. I'm okay to do that. And I don't understand why some people find it so difficult. Would you rather die or would you rather just do one thing that saves your life and, sa and you know, could save the life of many other people? How is that so difficult? Please tell me because I have a, I have, I'm having a hard time understanding. My mom's also coming, like I've just seen the car come in when she hasn't come upstairs yet and I'm like, what are you doing woman? Why aren't you upstairs yet? Yo, my jawline, I have never got my jaw, actually that's a lie, I, I haven't got my jawline to look like this in a while. With your bronze, if you're doing this on your jawline like me because you got a round face, please blend it into your neck. Please, 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 I beg you, just blend it into your neck. Some people say you shouldn't do the figure three thing anymore because you know that's really outdated but i think makeup is one of those things where you need to make it work for you like you know obviously those are like the og ways of doing things and some of them still do work some don't some do i mean i think it just works for your face like with me i have a i have a really round face like i want to give structure and put shadows on certain places so for me a version of the three works it may not work for everybody, but for, you know, for me personally, it does. And I think that's, like, with makeup, you got to take it with a pinch of salt. Do what needs to be done for your face. Because, like, I took, like, you know, I've done, like, my friend's makeup, like, when I was in uni. Or, like, I tell people what I would do to their face. And then what I would do for them is completely different to what I do for me. Completely, completely different. Like, one of the girls I work with, she's one of those people that annoyingly doesn't have, like, a full skincare routine or anything. But has amazing skin. Literally. And I was telling her, like, I really want to do her makeup. But not in a way like I, where like how I would do mine. Like I just want to do her makeup in a way that celebrates her natural features. Like she's got amazing eyes. She's got amazing bone structure and eyebrows already that are just naturally there. And you know she's got like just a really pretty face. So like I don't want to go cake on a layer of foundation, like concealer and all of. I don't want to do that to her. Like they're just so, like she does not need a full coverage foundation. And that's just I really want to. She's she's gonna let me do her makeup. Just as long as I bring cookies, which I have no issue doing. I will very, very happily take her cookies. Yo, my skin, I ain't gonna lie. My skin's actually looking pretty bomb right now. 
I think I'm actually really proud of this. I haven't used this powder in ages, but it's the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. Like just the pressed one. I haven't, I, it's just in my, excuse me? It's been set in my drawer and I just haven't used it. But I'm just going to use that to just sort of, you know, set the rest. I'm just going to set the rest of my face with this now. There is a really cute delivery guy outside. Yeah, I'm boy crazy. And I don't mean that in a psycho insane way. I just mean that as I fall in love with guys all the time. Like, on, like I'll be scrolling through Instagram and I'm falling in love with guys. I have no clue I exist. Which I'm like, you're fine as hell. This is the, the eyeshadow palette that I got. And it looks like that and it is absolutely gorgeous so i really want to use these two and actually so like these two that one and i'm somewhere between these two shimmers like we'll we'll figure out because it has one two three four two four six shimmers and four mattes which actually is pretty decent i think because it's just like a basic one and i would use this pretty much like this and i think the other eyeshadow palette that i also got in another glossy box box that the one that i smashed between those two, I'll always use them because I just colors I would always gravitate towards. I'm gonna start with that one and just blow it out in my crease as my transition color. And then I'm gonna go in with that one and deepen it up a little bit. I might dip into that one just to give me some definition, um, but we'll see what happens. Um, and I think the likelihood is I'm gonna actually go with that one over the lid. I'm just telling you that now so like I can talk and you know, do my makeup at the same time. My friend and I were having a catch up and um, like we were talking, we were literally like, yeah, no, we are literally so deprived right now of, you know, just going out and just meeting and talking to people. Because I, when I say I literally fall in love with random people on the internet every single day, at like at least two times in every five minutes. I mean it, because I will literally just be sending out like pictures and like mainly like reels that I just find on Instagram. And she's like, and they're always like, okay, I know we know your type. And then something comes out and she's like, Look, I don't know your type. I think the only, only thing that, you know, is common between all of them is tattoos and a beard. I think that's genuine. I mean, I have tattoos, like loads of tattoos. Like I have 11 of them. So it kind of makes sense that I like people with tattoos. This is a really pretty shade. There's like a lot of kickback in the pan, but like in terms of fallout, I'm pretty good. But this is a really pretty shade. When lockdown is done, I also cannot wait to go back to the gym. When I tell you, I miss the gym. The gy on, I miss my weights. I miss deadlifting. I really do. <laughs> like I, I'm not trying to like you know sound like one of them girls, but I miss my deadlifts. I really, really miss them. It's a little bit darker and a little bit plummier than I was intending to go, but I really like it. I really do here's the thing with the gym right everybody including myself when i first started assumes every every single person in the gym is just some egotistical maniac who only cares about themselves and you know wants to just flex on everybody but that's actually not the case and i actually you know went they properly invested in the gym and actually went to one because i the one i went to was um in winchester when i was at university Everybody in that gym was so incredibly helpful and kind and er because they all understood that everybody, you know, starts, everybody starts at the same place. We all start knowing nothing and we all start needing help and everybody is so, so, was so supportive there that it was great. It really, really was like the, all the fear and the phobia I had of being in the gym, gone. I would, I was so scared to even step foot in a weight room and now I will literally slide tackle a guy. I don't care if he's like 300 pounds heavier than me. I will slide tackle you for a deadlift platform. Seriously, I don't get. And honestly, the other part of it is the gym is where a lot of us actually learn to love ourselves. I don't, I'm just talking from my own experience. The gym is where I actually started to appreciate my body you know for what it is and for what it can do and i started being a lot kinder to myself and i think like yeah obviously you'll see like the physical transformation and the physical change but what people don't see is the mental change that happens because at the end of the day you could look you know as like you know what like it's great and then be in the best shape of your life as you physically can 
but if on the inside and mentally you still feel like crap that's really not gonna matter and honestly the gym helps people deal with that stuff so so much and i just miss it it was also great when you made friends and everybody understood each other which is like another little family that you found what i've done is i've just taken that um the darker shade that i ran in my crease and i'm just like blending it in just so that it's not as harsh of a distinction as to where i cut it i was blending it through really and i'm very pleasantly happy with it currently i'm thinking of a shimmer um so we'll kind of actually let's let's see if we could work with a shimmer i'm going with the red one and i'm just gonna press it oh oh okay right we're going with that i'm gonna take the gold one like the you know royal gold one and just put it right on the very center like just a little bit just to make the center pop out a bit more yep yeah, we like that we like that a lot i need to do an eyeliner so i'm just gonna do this off camera because like i'm really bad at eyeliner on camera because i can't do it so that you can see so i'll be back in a minute all right i did a little wing action it wasn't the wing i was intending to but we're here now so now we're gonna try this mascara it's a nourishing mascara it volumizes mascara enriched with almond oil and camellia oil it's from the brand is boutique beauty again never heard of them but i got it in my box so that's what we're gonna use for my lashes it comes like, like a little tube are you meant to shake mascara i don't know oh oh that's tight i like the brush on that right let's see what this does to my eyelashes i mean that's not too bad I'm, it's not as volumizing as it says it is oh you know what i was thinking like it doesn't beat my maybelline one it's not clumpy which i actually really like though so i mean that is a plus on a no makeup day like if you just want a mascara this would actually work really well but i think right now like if i didn't have if i didn't have a wing you probably would have seen it more but are you sorry it's a nice mascara nothing to write home about but it's nice i quite like my eyes if i'm being perfectly honest i do like them so that's it this is what my face looks like i used um what did i use for my lips i used the next professional lip pencil in the shade hot red and i just used um the fenty uh gloss bomb cream in fruit snacks as that's my little combination my face is a lot plumier than i intended but i'm happy i like it yeah i really like that well i hope you enjoyed my video and if you made it all this way and you haven't subscribed to my channel yet what are you doing like i'll wait for a second while you subscribe it'll be probably on this side yeah probably on that side so i hope you enjoyed this video my little you know random spiel of just whatever goes on in my head but yeah i hope you liked it if you do if you re if you ever you know try and recreate this you know let me know tag me in it i'd love to see it because i like to see other people's makeup because it's great to see and then remember to share this video with your auntie your mom your dad your granny your dog your uncle your cat the cute delivery guy that's outside your house you know share it to everybody and remember to subscribe to my channel so you get to see more of my face and yeah that's it now thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one bye angels